Albania GDP 17.74 billion US dollars. Jamaica GDP 15.45 billion US dollars. Zimbabwe GDP 20.5 billion US dollars. Afghanistan GDP 19.81 billion US dollars and nearly 20 more such countries like Nepal, Zambia, Cyprus, Iceland, Georgia. Much more than the GDP of all of these, Gautam Adani chairperson of Adani Group, personal net worth 155.7 billion US dollars. These things are from this world and not from anywhere else. Not of the past or future, but of the present. And this is where we come, maybe in some job which we got after getting admission in a good degree from a good college, struggling to save some money every month, waiting for the next salary, every day different expenses are increasing. It feels like I should change my job because this company is paying very little. Credit card bills have to be paid every month. Installments and rent have to be paid. Or a student doing a course with lots of expectations, pursuing a degree which will hopefully help in making a lot of money, having no personal savings, sacrificing everything, every day, be it their favorite clothes or food, any gift for parents or a pair of new shoes. Becoming rich and wealthy is a dream and a dream for a student. How did these people do it? Seeing these millionaires and billionaires, you repeatedly ask yourself this question, especially those who have done a lot at a very young age. Seeing them, you get angry with yourself. You curse your own luck, right? By saying how lucky they are, he was born with a golden spoon. Money does not define everything. Money is the root of trouble. Just leave it. I'm not as smart as them. I just have a bad luck. All your dreams of living in a big white bungalow with a swimming pool, your dream of driving your favorite sports car, traveling the world, all those dreams will remain just dreams. But what if I tell you that you are wrong? If I tell you that there is a deep science behind becoming rich, after understanding which, anyone can become rich by applying it. If I tell you that you don't need to kill any more of your dreams, that bungalow, that dream of traveling the whole world, you can make that a reality. I might seem like liar to all of you, but I promise all of this is true. And at the end of this video, you will yourself know that there is a way about which nobody ever told you. The path is definitely difficult. There is a lot of struggle. A lot of ups and downs will be there. The beliefs taught in schools, colleges, and the society will be broken. It will hurt too. And let me first tell you that a lot of you will never reach the end of this path. But if you make it to the end of the path, you'll get so much money you might not be able to handle that you would have never even imagined. All that happiness that you want is hidden at the end of this path. The freedom that you work for, the life in which you will never have to think about money. So, are you ready to walk on this journey with me? Are you still in this video? Let's start without wasting time. What do you understand about money? What do you think? Is this the thing for which we work from morning to evening? Can it be earned only by hard work or the real money is inherited by a person? Is this really the root of all the trouble? Or is it all an illusion? Should one not go beyond his capacity? You have to make a lot of effort to earn money. It is easier said than done. Money doesn't grow on trees. Are you also desperate to earn money? Have you been chasing this money all your life? Do you think that money is only scum on the hands? Earn as much as you want. Earning money is the easiest job in the world. The truth is that whatever we think about money comes from our upbringing, family, and environment. If you are also born in such a family where the problem of money has been there since the beginning, then you will easily accept that money does not grow on trees. We have to work hard. One should spend according to his capacity. You will easily believe that it is impossible to earn one lakh a month. Now, listen to me very carefully, because we are now going to completely change the way we look at money. We are going to break all the beliefs about money that you have had all your life. Hindi films have always shown that rich and wealthy people are very bad, greedy, untrustworthy, totally depraved and corrupt people. But the question is, have you accepted this belief in your mind as well? Recent report of Forbes shows that almost 84% of the new billionaires made during COVID are self-made billionaires. And this figure is increasing year by year. Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. Let aside all of them, if we talk about the billionaires of just our own country, Sachin Bansal, self-made billionaire, Vijay Shekhar Sharma, self-made billionaire, Acharya Balakrishna, self-made billionaire, Baiju Ravindran, self-made billionaire, Nikhil Kamath, self-made billionaire, 
Ritesh Agarwal self-made billionaire? What is it that these people know and you don't? The truth is that all your beliefs are wrong. This is the thing which has been taught to you since childhood. That money is equal to salary. And that's why a good job becomes the sole purpose of our education, school, and college life. Now, you would ask me, what is bad about it? I am supposing that if you are watching this video, you want to earn a lot of money and you want to earn as fast as possible. If this is your goal, so this equation will not help you to earn money. We all have an equal resource, a resource that is precious, a resource that is most needed, a resource that once it is gone, there is no way to get it back. That resource is time. The amount of time you that you devote to a standard job, you get the same amount of money. If you do part-time, then you get paid for part-time. If you do full-time, then you will get paid for full-time. And if you do overtime, you will get paid for overtime. This simply means that the amount of money you earn is directly proportional to the amount of time you put into the job. If you earn 30,000 a month, then, according to this equation, it will take you 28 years to earn one crore. In this too, we have not estimated household expenses and taxes for 28 years. Also keep in mind, with rising inflation, the value of this one crore will not remain the same as today, after 28 years. So, the truth is that if we go by the income of 30,000 or 50,000 per month, then you would be able to become millionaires only by the time you reach old age, and your most valuable and most precious resource, that is time, would have just slipped through your hand because you spent all that time earning money. And that amount wasn't that big either. So just ask yourself once again that how come so many people in this world become self-made millionaires at a very young age? What is so different about them? And the truth is that their equation is completely different from yours. They have a completely different understanding of money, which you haven't yet understood. Now, listen to me very carefully. Stop running after money. The rules of the money game are completely different in today's capitalist society. You will get as much money as the value you would be able to create. And who will decide your value? This will be decided by the market. The consumers, you, your friends, your family, your neighbors, your country, its citizens. All these are a part of market. People say that there is a lot of money in Bollywood. Actors earn a lot of money. But it is possible for actors to earn more when there is a market for Bollywood films there should be a demand for that actor of Bollywood industry. His acting should be able to connect with people, generate feelings. People will see the value first. Only then will they feel like spending money on tickets. And if they spend money, only then actors will earn good money. And this whole thing is applicable in every field where people earn a lot of money, be it cricket, be it football, be it any other field. And if there is a demand for the field of cricket, then just imagine the people who are on top in this field how much money would they make? It really doesn't matter how much and for how long you work. A sweeper who works so hard, cleaning the whole building, he gets exhausted, or a laborer, who carries so much load on his own body, yet he always earns less than a surgeon and accountant who sits in the cabin the entire day. He always earns less than them. Why is that so? Because according to the market, the value of sweeper and labor is very low in comparison with a surgeon and accountant. I am not happy saying this, but this is a bitter reality that a sweeper, a watchman, or a laborer can be replaced easily. Their work is not difficult to learn, so anyone can replace them, anytime. They do not have any specific skill, and that is why the market will never pay them more money than a surgeon. The surgeon who could save lives, the surgeon who devoted his entire life to bring expertise in a single field. But we had just discussed that becoming rich in a short time while doing a job is not the right equation. So how do we increase our value? How are these big people, Ambani, Adani Narayana Murthy, Ritesh Agarwal, Vijay Shikhar Sharma, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, what is common in them? Which made their value very high? If you really want to do this same thing, then the first step is very simple that if you want money, then solve any problem. If you pay a little attention to this statement, then you will be able to realize that every company in the world is earning money by solving every business problem. If any problem is solved, then you can earn a lot of money. The bigger the problem, the more money. If there is a problem of lakhs, you will earn lakhs. And if there is a problem of crores, you will be able to make crores of rupees. Just think, did Ola, Uber solve any problem? Did Oyo Rooms solve any problem? Has Amazon solved any problem? 
Yes, the hassle of going to the shops to buy goods, shopping in the crowd, the problem of waiting for weeks for delivery, making the products available at low prices, and what not. Now think about any company and see whether they are solving a problem, be it Tesla, SpaceX, Google, YouTube, Zoom, Swiggy, Zomato, they all are solving big problems. So if till now you were running after money, then you are going completely wrong. It's almost paradoxical. But if you really want money, then you have to stop thinking about money. You have to run after problems, start thinking about problems. And more than that, you have to come up with great solutions to these problems. And once you find the solution, you can generate an ultra profitable business around it. Okay, is it all that we have to do? Just solve the problem and money will come. So it means to become rich, I have to make the next Infosys. Will I have to make Zomato, Adani Ports or Facebook? What a joke, bro. I don't know any coding. I don't have so much investment to do something big. Neither do I have. Stop. You are again going back to the old patterns, which we talked about in the beginning of the video. Have a look at the market around you. Notice your industry very carefully. You will surely find some gap. What is it that people keep complaining about? What do they dislike? What is the thing that people keep wishing for? What is it that is frustrating people? What things are a major inconvenience to people? Is this a problem that you can solve? Is it a profitable problem? From here, you will have two choices in front of you. Either you run your business, grow it, and enjoy the profits. Or you can sell your company at a good valuation. This is how acquisition is done. Like Facebook acquired Instagram for $1 billion and WhatsApp for $19 billion, PayPal was acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion, out of which $165 million straight away went to Elon Musk's share. This is the actual wealth that you create your years of hard work starts giving results here. And you can also choose to run your business, for which obviously there are a lot of reasons. Maybe you love the company, maybe you want to make it more valuable, and you are planning its sellout at a higher valuation later. It could happen that you run your entire business on autopilot, and it becomes a powerful source of passive income for you. Ultimately, the point is that you finally did it. You have solved a problem whose solution was wanted in the market. And for that, the market will reward you very well. Now, I have a question for you. All this hard work was for exactly what? All this hard work was not just for money. You all have heard this before, that money is just a piece of paper. And that's true. It's nothing more than a number on a screen. Money has value only as long as we believe in its value. The most important lesson of this entire video was not at all about how to earn money. Rather, it was about that valuable and ultimately precious resource which we cannot hold, even if we want to. Our time. Once it is gone, we cannot bring it back even after spending billions of rupees. Time. Time is very precious, and it is limited for everyone. Is it a right decision to sacrifice a big part of that limited time for a job? The job which you don't even like, and is not capable of giving you the life that you really desire. Do you really want a life that goes on repeat mode? Just going to work, coming back home, watching TV, sleeping, waking up the next day, and repeat all those things. Repeating the same process till retirement. Perhaps you have accepted this life as your reality you are happy now. Right now, you might not have any other option but to follow this path. If this is the case, then there is no problem at all. I believe this video must have entertained you, and it must have definitely brought a slight shift in your perspective. But there will be some people who must have understood each and everything said in this video. The people who really aspire to change everything. They want to create such a life in which they never have to think about money. So, let me remind you once again. Stop running after money. Just run after problems and find solutions to those problems. This is the way where lies the key to all your dreams. If you really want that freedom, in which there never is going to be any tension of money, make finding a solution to the problem the biggest aim of your life, a meaningful goal, a meaningful struggle for something substantial and something very impactful. I don't know if you will be happy after reaching the end of this path. I don't even know whether you will feel satisfied. This answer can only be given by you to yourself. But I definitely know that if your struggle is meaningful, if this struggle has a meaning which has the potential to change the world, then you should embrace this struggle. You must certainly pursue this struggle. Conclusion and this was finally your way to riches. Yes, I know that I could not touch and cover a lot of points, like business, money entrepreneurship, 
all these topics are very detailed, and literally it's too vast to cover in a single video. But if you want to move forward in this journey, then I would strongly recommend you to definitely read some of MJ DeMarco books, who inspired me a lot to create such content. And I would like to remind you again that it is a fact that most people will never be successful due to different reasons. But the most important thing is that failing is very important. Failing fast is very much important. And moving on to the next thing is the best principle that has helped me a lot in my journey. And if you are doing something that is not at all related to business, but yes, you want to make money, then just ask yourself, that which problem am I solving? What problem am I solving? What is the problem that I can solve? When you would ask this question to yourself, you could discover some amazing ways, using which you will be able to solve many problems around you. Whatever you are doing, you will be able to monetize it in a different way. Like if you are doing a job, and if you become an expert in solving problems, wow, you will get promotion very soon. We will end this video with the message that I have repeated several times in this video. Don't run after money, run after problems. Finding solutions to problems, focus on that. Just chase the solution. Okay, so finally, you have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it out. Wait, don't go right now. We would like to take some of your time to thank you again for watching this video till the end. Because for creating a documentary style video like this, a lot of efforts are put in, doing the research, preparing the script, editing in the shoot. You can't even imagine how happy I am and how good it feels to see your support. So now, if this video has genuinely added some value in your lives and you really enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit the like button. And if you did not like it, make sure you hit that dislike button. Do share your views on this topic by commenting so that our entire community can interact and learn a lot with each other.